ain't no stopping us. Hey guys, what's up? Jeff here again to orient your fitness in the right direction. So yesterday I talked about the leg extension exercise and why it's not a good exercise. It wears down your knees faster over time. But I wanted to give actually one exception to where it could potentially be a good exercise and when I've used it on myself, I wanted to give one exception which likely isn't going to apply to many people, but maybe it'll apply to you. So I thought I'd just rehash it really quick why the leg extension isn't good. I think it deserves its own video. So pretty much you're sitting down for this exercise. You have the bar down here and you're pressing up. And by doing that, you're placing excessive compression on your patellofemoral joint, more than pretty much every other leg exercise out there. So your patellofemoral joint is the joint between your patella or your kneecap and your femur or your thigh bone. So that's your patellofemoral joint. And when you're doing the leg extension, it's heavy compression right there because it's just your quads being active and it's heavy compression. With squats, you have your hamstrings being active as well. So your hamstrings, when they're active, they pull back on your leg more and that reduces the compressive forces on your patellofemoral joint. So that's why squats aren't, as, aren't going to wear down your knees to the same effect that leg extensions will. Leg extensions are going to wear down your knees faster than pretty much every other exercise. And that's obviously not good because cartilage is between your bones and cartilage allows bones to move smoothly onto, on one another. So when your cartilage degenerates, that's going to lead to osteoarthritis, which is bone moving on bone, and that's painful right there. And then you need further interventions for that. So, and it's also not good at the top of the movement, this exercise, because at the top of this movement, you're, you now have shearing forces between your tibia, or your lower leg bone, and your femur, or your thigh bone. So at the top, there's shearing forces, and at the bottom, there's compressive forces. So, it's just not good for your knees overall, it's going to wear them down faster because of that extra compression and so here's the one exception though where this exercise could actually be a good exercise and where I've used it on myself and that is in a rehab setting like in physical therapy because in a rehab setting you might not be able to do things on two, on two feet like when I had foot surgery I couldn't exercise on two feet very well so I needed the leg extension exercise to build up my quads more so I sat down and I did that exercise. And that's when it could potentially be good. I mean, long term, it's definitely not a good thing for your knees, but short term, it can build up your quad muscles and that can potentially help you increase your strength and be more functional in your everyday life. So yes, I did use this exercise on myself when I was in rehab, but outside of that setting, outside of the physical therapy setting, it's not really a good exercise. And gyms, you shouldn't really do it in the gym if you're fully functional, you just shouldn't do it it's overall a bad exercise. Alright guys, hopefully that taught you something new. This has been Jeff once more, orienting your fitness in the right direction. If you liked the video, you know what to do. Thumb it up, comment on the video, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.